Welcome back to the lead. Continuing with, uh, with politics now, and we have some questions about the Trump administration's continued strained relationship with the intelligence community. One former NSA analyst claims that the relationship is so rough, the intelligence officials are currently holding back information from the White House. John Schindler laid out reasoning for his claims in a New York Observer column, writing in part, quote, the president has repeatedly gone out of his way to antagonize our spies, mocking them and demeaning their work, and Trump's personal national security guru can't seem to keep his story straight on vital issues, unquote. That guru he's referring to, of course, would be President Trump's national security advisor, retired General Michael Flynn. So what did the nation's spies tell Schindler, and what is the impact within the Trump administration? John Schindler uh, joins me now. John, thanks for joining us. So you say some spy agencies are beginning to withhold intelligence from the White House, fearing sensitive information is at risk. That's a pretty strong claim. Where did you get that from? Who told you that? Uh, horse's mouth. Friends of mine who are still in senior positions in the intelligence community. My report referenced the National Security Agency, NSA, my former employer, which contributes to the lion's share of the intelligence that our government has, frankly. So holding back anything has a lot of important implications for our national security. I think we've really reached a crisis point here. And, and why would they worry about sharing information with the President of the United States, who is the Commander-in-Chief, after all? Why would they not share the information? Well, part of this is simply counterintelligence concerns. People in Trump's inner circle have ties to particularly the Kremlin that are deeply concerning to anyone who's experienced in counterintelligence. There's that reality, which never been in this situation before either, frankly. But on top of it, Trump blows off a lot of his intelligence briefings. The president stayed brief, the famous PDB, uh, the most sensitive intelligence document in the world, uh, is something he gets intermittently. And in fact, he's having his National Security Council often distill it down to one page of no more than nine bullet points. So why should you put things at risk uh, to exposure if the president's not paying attention anyway, frankly? In your column, John, you write, quote, in the event of a serious international crisis of the sort which eventually befalls ev almost every administration, the White House will need the best intelligence possible to prevent war, possibly even nuclear war. It may not get the information it needs in that hour of crisis, and for that, it has nobody to blame but itself. Are these individuals that you're talking about who say that they are withholding information from the executive branch, does it occur to them that it might be more dangerous to, to withhold that information than to share it? Absolutely. I think they're fully cognizant of that, uh, and these yes. are intelligence professionals, again, who are not going to point to this right. in five business for many decades, uh, understand exactly what is going on here. Uh, and it is their hope there will be changes to this, that there may be a shake-up in the National Security Council. We'll put forward some more, frankly, reliable individuals who are of unquestionable loyalty to the United States and not foreign countries so we can get past the situation. But we've never been in anything like this. This is completely new. It would have been perceived as complete fantasy a year ago in the intelligence community, in the Pentagon, that you could have a White House where these security concerns would exist. So, again, this is all uncharted. We're, we're learning as we go. All we know right now is there's intelligence not leaked in the White House because our intelligence agencies are afraid that it will be exposed. And, and uh, obviously, uh, your report got a lot of uh, skeptical reaction uh, from some. You need a website. Why not do it yourself? With Wix, you can create your own professional website. People supportive reaction from others. Is there anything specifically that any of... Uh, others who are formerly in the intelligence community uh, questioned about your report that you want to address about, I mean, some people seem to think that you're, you're going by anecdotal information instead of uh, a, a broad theme of withholding. Well, certainly, look, it's cer currently serving intelligence community personnel are not going to come forward on this. They're not going to destroy their careers over this. Nothing about sources and methods has been discussed here. This is a generic problem. I served in the IC for a long time. I still have friends. Uh, inside, I did a great deal to expose Hillary's email gate problems last year from the IC perspective. My track record, I think, speaks for itself. Uh, everything I said about that turned out to be true, and I'm confident that these sources are telling me the truth this time as well. Uh, I, I, I am confident that I, I know who my friends are and that they are in the jobs that they are in fact in. John Schindler, writing a column for The Observer, got, getting a lot of attention. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time, sir. Thank you for having me, Jake. President Trump got angry at North.